Have you been looking for an opportunity to get a little better deal on a property that could be a second home or an investment property and you can't seem to identify where to look? This is Ron Way Sikarski with Wise Home Team Realty and I think I found a little bit of a crack that you might want to explore. What we are finding right now is the Rolex race is coming up, Daytona 500, Bike Week, cheerleading events are things we would normally see hundreds of thousands of people coming to the Daytona Beach area and surrounding areas. Uh, what we're finding right now is attendance is going to be a mere fraction of what it might normally be. And for those that currently own second homes that they also use for investment income, well, that ROI has been off for the last year. And maybe going forward, it's going to continue to be off. And I'm wondering, if we were to identify some property that was being used as second home and also for investment opportunities for rent revenue that hit the market, would that be a more motivated seller than perhaps somebody who's living in the home um, that could stay there for you know the foreseeable future? You see, right now, the seller that's thinking of selling due to a little financial duress is down on ROI for the last year because the rent rolls were really thin for a lot of people in 2020. And if the major events are likely to be lightly attended, then that ROI is going to be off, especially in the short-term rental category. And if that very same person is also somewhat travel restricted, they may not be coming to the properties often either. Many of these properties were purchased with the intent of part-time staying in it on your own and renting it off to defer the expenses for taxes and insurance. And for many people, having a few rentals for the year in the big weeks could pay for the taxes and insurance for the year. Well, when you suddenly have perhaps mortgage payments, but definitely taxes, definitely insurance, and the monthly utility fees for the property, that's a check that those owners are writing every month. And if they're unable to travel, to spend time in their home, well, they literally have a property sitting there doing nothing that's costing them money every month where they're writing checks. And at some point, some of those sellers are going to want to stop that bleeding. So when we identify a property that is vacant, been used in the past, and even mentions rental income opportunity for short-term rentals and an absentee owner, that might be the perceived weakness that we're looking for in this market for a supremely motivated seller. And you might have a chance to make a win on price. So I hope that this helps you with a little bit of a strategy that might help the buyers out. And if you're a seller, there's still a way to navigate through this. Give us a comment below if you enjoyed the content and definitely, definitely subscribe. We would love to be able to send you this information throughout the tax season to help you with your strategies. This is Ron Weiss-Sikarski with Wise Home Team Realty.